in Bangladesh, security forces have stormed the hostage restaurant in Dhaka, where a terrorist had held a number of hostages. Security officials issued instructions to people in the neighborhood to stay indoors. No one was allowed on the streets in the vicinity of the restaurant. At least nine terrorists barged into the holy artisan bakery, frequented by diplomats and expatriates, to, and opened indiscriminate fire late last evening. They then engaged in a fierce gun battle with Bangladesh security forces and hurled grenades at them. Two policemen were killed and 30 were injured in the exchange. Several foreigners, including Italians and Japanese, are feared to have been taken hostage, along with locals inside the restaurant. Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for the attack. The MEA has said that it is monitoring the situation in Dhaka and all officials at the High Commission are safe. And now our correspondent Melinda Diaz joins us from Dhaka with the latest. Melinda, as far as we know, uh, security forces have stormed uh, the restaurant. What is the situation now? Uh, well, you know, actually, till some time ago, efforts were still going on by the security forces to negotiate with the gunmen. But right. even as I'm talking to you, I am hearing gunshots and explosions, which means the police have already begun a, some sort of a commando operation following the failure of all negotiations. You know, the police were telling us that the militants are demanding the release of top JNB leaders who were earlier arrested in connection with the target killings. But the police had also said that they are ready for any eventuality. They had cordoned off the entire area. They had sealed off all exit points, and the 30-member commando force from the Navy had joined the RAB and the DAB to face the situation. Since, about, since, since more than 20 foreigners were held as hostages, the police said they are very much interested in negotiating. But since negoti negotiations have failed and their demand was not acceptable, the commando action has taken place. Right, commando action uh, in uh, place now. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Melinda, what details can you give us about the number of hostages uh, who were being held hostage there, the condition that they are in now? Uh, according to our sources, there were about 30 to 40 hostages that were, uh, that were there. And among the hostages, there were several Italians, at least seven to eight Italians, some French and Japanese citizens, and maybe even an Indian citizen. Right. So, well, so it was a targeted, uh, it was clear. Uh, yeah, yes. The police are very clear that it is a targeted, well planned, targeted uh, uh, militant attack. But since foreigners are involved and uh, so many hostages have been taken, they wanted to negotiate. But their demand uh, for, for the release of top JNB leadership who were actually arrested for the, some of the targeted killings, I think the police felt that that was not feasible and therefore they had to go in for the commando action. They said that they were ready for any eventuality. Right, and meanwhile, on the part of the government, what is it saying? How does it look at this, uh, at this incident? Clearly, there is a failure. Uh, uh, there could be lapses in terms of intelligence because, uh, as we just discussed, it's a targeted and well-planned attack. Over the last 18 months, at least 50 people have been hacked to death. Uh, and the victims were always minority community members, secular writers and bloggers, rights activists, and the IS had, all, uh, had claimed responsibility for most of the killing. But the Bangladesh government had always maintained that there is no IS presence in the country. And they had linked the killings to homegrown mm. militants like JNB and the Ansarullah right. Bangla team. And they were even uh, linked it to the opposition BNP and Jamaat. So right. in this kind of a situation, in this kind of a situation, in fact, you know, the, um, um, just yesterday, a Hindu priest was killed in Janaida. The day before yesterday, a Buddhist priest, monk was killed. So all this was expected. In fact, the, the government had launched an anti-militancy drive earlier in June. Right, right, and right. Uh, and, uh, and during that time, they had arrested more than 16,000 people, including over 200 JNB like suspected militants. So the government was doing their best, but this, this has come. Right, right. Well, thank you very much, Melinda, for joining us there. Uh, that, uh, we, that's all we have.